Welcome back to EA Trending News. The rivalry between Luos and Kikuyos started two years after Kenya got its independence. This is what happened before independence. Jelamogi Oginga Odinga, the father to Laila Amoro Odinga, was asked by colonialists to form government and he said he will not form government until Kenyatta is released from prison because by then Kenyatta was detained and he was in prison. After Kenyatta was released from prison, he came out and he formed the first government in Kenya. He became the prime minister and the person who was second in command was Jelamogi Oginga Odinga. Two years later, there were conflict between Kenyatta and Jeramogi Oginga Odinga because Jeramogi Oginga Odinga was not satisfied and he was not happy by the way Jomo Kenyatta was learning government and conflict arose. And after conflict arose, Jomo Kenyatta said he cannot work with Jeramogi Oginga Odinga and he fired Jalamogi Oginga Odinga. That's when the conflict of Kikuyu and Lo started. Just imagine, think of this. You are asked to form government and you say no because someone else is in prison. After that one person, Alikwa released from prison, he came, he, he formed government and you come second in command and that person fires you how can you feel how can the whole community feel they felt betrayed Luos felt betrayed when Jelamogi Oinga Odinga was fired by Jomo Kenyatta because Ange formed government but he said he will not form government until Kenyatta is released from prison after Jamogi Oginga Odinga was fired by Jomo Kenyatta. Few years later, Tom Boyer and the person who was hope of the rules was assassinated. And it is said that he was assassinated by the government of Jomo Kenyatta. That being Ilifanya or it pained Luos because Tom Boyer was the hope of Luos. And he was assassinated at the age of 38 years. That was the year 1969. Akawawa. The hope of Luos. Ikaisha. Because walikuwa Odinga. And later Jalamogi Oginga Odinga came and died. Tom Boyer arose. He was assassinated. So by then the Luos had no one to look up to. And who caused all this? Jomo Kenyatta. Jomo Kenyatta, Akikuyu. They felt bitter of Jomo Kenyatta and they felt bitter of Kikuyus. After Jomo Kenyatta died, Moi took over for 24 years. And the gap between Kikuyus and Luos started shallowing. And Kikuyus and Luos started coming together because they wanted to fight Moi. Because Moi was a dictator. And Moi assassinated some of the people and he detained and arrested, his government detained and arrested some of the people and prominent people from different communities, be it Kikuyu, be it Lu, be it Luyas, we know. And that caused or made Kikuyus, Luos and other tribes to come together and fight Moi. In 2002, general election Moi was supporting Ohulumege Kenyatta to be the president of Kenya, but Ohulumege Kenyatta failed terribly. Moi Kibaki was supported and he was given big support by Laila Amolo Odinga and he got a lot of votes and plenty of votes from Nyanza region and they formed government and after they formed government, Laila Amolo Odinga akapewa a ministry of uh, loot. After After that, in 2005, there was referendum. Na kwa hii kubadisha katiba, Laila akakuja na akasema 
No. Remember? Kibaki as the president of Kenya alikuwa anaunga mkono mabadilisho ya katiba na yeye Alaila Amorodinga akakuja na no and Laila by then he had a lot of influence and into uh, a lot of uh, he had a lot of influence and in 2005 katiba ikaangushwa no ikashinda in 2007 Laila alikuwa anasema makiti au president and he was against alikuwa anasema mama na Mwai Kibaki remember in 2007 Mwai Kibaki alikuwa anasema mama second term lakini Laila Amorodinga alikuwa anataka kusema mama first term remember the two were supporting each other in 2002 because Laila Amorodinga supported Mwai Kibaki bid to be the president of Kenya but now in 2007 Laila was uh, was ama alikuwa anasema mama kitio president against Mwai Kibaki na kule zilipoanza kuhesabiwa Laila alikuwa ameacha Mwai Kibaki na mbali sana but zikienda kuisha kuna kula ziliingia like the like of Juja and we saw William Samoei alipotoa complaining about Juja and the county the county na zilikuja na kwa semekana yako na kuwa Laila Ambro Odinga ameangushwa na Mwai Kibaki and we saw Mwai Kibaki akiapishwa usiku vita ikatokea the rivalry between Kikuyu and Luos widened because by then Laila ni alikuwa anasema president na Mwai Kibaki ni alikuwa anasema president you all know what happened later in 2013 after Laila Morodinga quit kia a form government and Luos Mkata na our prime minister in 2013 all me kikinya akakuja akasema makita president na Laila walikuwa wamekosana na William Samoei Arap Pluto because William Samoei Arap Pluto and all me kikinya what can to ICC na wakuja wakasikizana and Laila and William and uh, William Samoei Arap Pluto and all me kikinya in 2013 formed government na wakashinda Laila Amoro Odinga the gap between kikuyus and luos likuwa inaendelea ikiwiden in 2017 la uhuru mwingi kenyata akashinda laila amorodinga and in 2013 and in 2017 laila amorodinga alikuwa anasema yakona na kuwa uhuru mwingi kenyata alikuwa anamwibia kura and with that alikuwa anafanya ama kuwiden hiyo gap between relationship between kikuyus and luos in 2022 mambo ikakuja ikabadilika Hormi ya Kenya ta akaanza ku support Laila Amolo Odinga bid to be the president of Kenya and you know Laila alikuwa anasema president power kiwa pamoja na William Samoei Arap Ruto but watu hawakusikiza uh, Hormi ya Kenya ta mawakiku ya kusikiza Hormi ya Kenya ta and kikuyu voted overwhelmingly ama wengi sana walijitokeza na wakapigia kura William Samoei Arap Ruto they never fought, fought, voted for Laila Amolo Odinga hata baada ya Laila Amolo Odinga kuchukua madha kaliwa kama la nimetu wake they never voted for him they votes from Mount Kenya region meaning that kikuyu bado wako na ile rivalry na lose hajawai isha and when will this rivalry end because up to date kikuyu and lose have rivalry when will it come to end that's the big question but we hope very soon the rivalry between kikuyus and luos will come to end and watasimama na msomo mmoja na kuna siku tunaomba wakuja washikane na waunge mkono mtu mmoja mwenye atasimama ukitia president na hapo ndipo tutajua wa luo na kikuyu they no longer have rivalry to each other thank you guys please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you god bless kenya